Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl, Miss Anne Little I'm coming to you on this rainy Thursday morning in NYC. I hope your day was well yesterday, and I hope today will be pleasant as well for you, regardless of where you are in this country, in this world, or even in New York City, regardless of the rain. So I wanted to come here and talk about this man named Lennon Arner. I've never spoken about him before on my channel, but the reason why I'm talking about him now is because I did a commentary about Omar Johnson's viral video with him being in Cherry Hill Mall. And this man, Lennon Arner, dedicated four hours and 33 minutes. I might be a little bit off with the, 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 the minutes mark with the video, but it was definitely, it was definitely four hours. This man plays the piano and he wears sunglasses like he's Stevie Wonder. He got a song called FDMG Academy. He's throwing shots at Umar. And so I'm like, you know, let me just see how many videos this man's done. Because on my timeline, when I looked up Linden Honor, the thing that pops up is his obsession with Omar Johnson. And when I tell you the people criticizing him for this alone is a lot, but the videos that he's made about Omar Johnson is even more than people criticizing him about his obsession with Omar Johnson. You know, it's one thing when women talk a lot about a man. You know, even a session of it, you know, it's a man. You know, it's like, okay, she might have a thing for him or he might have burned her in the past or he could have rejected her or maybe they did something and he dumped her or maybe she never got it, if you know what I mean. Or maybe he never got it and it was sour. So she's taking the whole beef to, to the social media internet platform. But it's another thing when a man does it. You have a wife and five kids. You don't have time to be obsessed over anybody. Like, why can't you do content on other people? You have 69K subs. You have over a thousand videos. And it seems like half of your content is dedicated to Uma Johnson. And then you have a whole bunch of videos about the HVAC. Now, when I typed up their names, what came up was a lawsuit that Omar filed against Lennon Honor for um, property infringement. So basically, Omar Johnson filed a lawsuit against Lennon Honor, basically saying that he was basically violating property. I don't know what that means. The only thing that could mean is that he basically was filming, got footage of FD, the building of FDMG Academy that he owns. And he could have monetized with the footage that he used in all his videos, talking about the school, talking about the HVAC. He monetized it and Umar is saying he never gave him permission to do it. And it could be also based on harassment, which I would say Lennon is harassing Umar at this point. It's obsession. It's sort of like cyber stalking in a weird way. And we all know we have our criticism of Omar. But the thing about it is he got the built-in. Whether you want to talk about it or not, he got the built-in. Now, my criticism of Omar is not the built-in. It's not the whole idea of the school, the HVAC, whatever. He did get the HVAC from what I've done research on. Um, my thing with it is that it's 12 years later. And the whole idea of having a Pan-Africanist based school like FDMG, Fresh Douglas Marcus Garvey, I think it's sort of played out. And it's because we're as a collective in terms of the black community, we're basically on the wave. We're, I don't even say wave. We're now more infused with Adolf and FBA. 
whether you identify as ADOS or identify as FBA or even freedmen, we're more focused on our American lineage. We don't really focus on Pan-Africanism. And by the way, Leonard Honor is a Pan-Africanist. He's a Pan-Africanist, which is the weirdest thing. And I feel like you're jealous of Umar because... Umar has a larger following than you. And it could be some colorism things to it. It could. You know, it's like this guy is an educator. I wanted to be a musician. Famous. And I wanted to be, you know, big. He calls himself a counselor. But counselors don't do type this type of stuff to people. They may make one or two videos, three at most. And then they move on. They bring a solution. You ain't even bring a solution. You just dogging Omar. And I've done my videos about Omar. I've done two videos, 2018. And they were basically lighthearted. It was like Omar plans to become a lawyer, which I totally agreed with. And that video is still up. I also did one about Omar wants to hire black construction workers to build FDMG Academy. Still up. I did one about the Omar Johnson's viral video. I uploaded that yesterday. And now I'm doing this. That's in a span of four years. Only four videos. Or four uploads. This man has about close to 500. That's not funny. That's really sad. Because what it shows is that you are basically... Focusing all your energy on Omar. And Omar didn't even think about you. But the whole thing that was funny is that he took his wife out. He was talking about he took his wife out after not taking her out for a long time. Now, I know that the restaurants was closed because of COVID. But my thing is like, you don't even really focus on your, talk about your family. It's all about Omar. Omar, Omar, four hours and 33 minutes to talk about a man and you a man. And you got a wife and five children. Something's not right with that picture, Lennon. That's not that's not normal. That obsession is sick, and it's on the verge of a lifetime movie scenario. If you might, if 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 if, if you really want to be real with it, you know, like I, if I was Umar, I would file papers of you being a stalker, a cyber stalker. You internet, you internet stalking me, and the obsession is sick. So, Lynn and Anna, my advice to you is just focus on your creativity. Shell out content other than Omar. Unless it's like a big, 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 big breaking news story, then I get it. But this constant uploads of Omar and the HVAC, like you could do a documentary about this man's obsession with Omar. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. And with that being said, I'm signing off. I know it's early, but I did sleep. I slept for like three hours today. I went to bed at 12 o'clock. And I'm going to go back to bed. And I'm going to wake up around about 10. And then I'm going to go outside, do what I got to do, and then come back and handle my business. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Miss Little Cool Experience TV and Podcast. Like the upload comment share hit the notification bell and i will talk to you soon later i need these views to go up though honestly because youtube is really messing with everybody's up um channels i don't know what's going on with it but these views are too low Especially when I had videos going back, like when I only had 300 subs and I was getting a thousand easy. Like, I don't know what's going on YouTube. I think I'm going to do a live about this in the upcoming weeks. But I'm signing off. Later.